What is going on guys, Stevie here, back with another Marble Strike Force video. Today we're going to be talking about the one, the only, Agatha Harkness. Now, she came out, I believe, April 5th or 6th of 2022, guys, and she is not farmable yet. Scopely, what is going on? Uh, I came back to the game, I actually missed Agatha Harkness when she came out, and now uh, I barely have her unlocked, so i I, I'm wondering how new players are even going to gather. It's been almost, literally almost a year. So if you guys are ready to break that down, you know what to do. Let's go to the intro. Alright, so here we are, guys. We are back at it again with another Marvel Strike Force video. Today, we are going to be talking about Agatha. And as you can see, my Agatha is only four stars. That's right. You heard me. Four stars. And that is all I get. So, when I came back to the game, I missed Agatha. I missed the entire Darkhold team. I did not get any of them unlocked uh, when I first came back to the game. I believe I came back to the game once um i want to say bionic avengers came out somewhere around there um but here we go this is my dark hold i am preparing for apocalypse and as you can see they're all oh, they're all six stars seven stars almost maxed out and would you look at this my agatha harkness is four stars now she is by far the best member of the team in my opinion besides obviously morgan Le Fay. Which is probably why she's not farmable yet. In fact, they actually had to nerf her, I believe, when she was out in the earlier times. I think she was way too overpowered, which is why I think now they are scared to release her as a farmable character. She is by far the best character on the team besides Morgan Le Fay, again. Um, gives them all barrier, heals them up, has all the control. Uh, she's very, very good now. Darkhold as a whole is actually falling out of the meta, I want to say. Like, not out of the meta, out of the meta, but they're becoming less and less of a team that is being, like, a top team that you need to build priority-wise. Um, they don't even get used in Cosmic Crucible anymore because Scopely just hates them in Cosmic Crucible for some reason because they're so good. They can beat all of their rooms. They're out... Okay, so me saying they're out of the meta, as in they're out of this meta... So you don't get to use them in Cosmic Crucible anymore. The arena, you don't get to use them in arena anymore because Apocalypse is out with the four horsemen. You still use Morgan Le Fay, so build up Morgan Le Fay. Um, I have her as a striker, and I actually, so let me tell you, I had her as a skirmisher, and I regret that immensely. And then I, I bit the bullet and just made her a striker instead because I just found that she was way stronger as a striker. Agatha, um, I don't know what it's like to have a big Agatha, so she's built up to level 85. Now, one thing I do want to say is the only reason why I have a four star in the first place is because of all the accumulative events slash calendars they've given us over the year with all the shards and everything. There is no, I haven't gotten her from a mega orb. I've gotten her from a premium orb maybe once or twice, um... And that's it. Like, I, I don't even have... I'm not even close to a five-star. Like, if I was closer to a five-star, or if I had a five-star, I'm just worried about newer players when they come to the game. Like, how are you going to tell a newer player to go build Darkhold when they can't get Agatha in any way, shape, or form? Uh, and that really concerns me. In fact, I actually believe that Scopely should make Darkhold a team for every new player because they're the first horseman team they want people to go chase apocalypse right make give them dark hold give them let them start building up towards that apocalypse you know give them something to work towards you should have given them dark hold as in part of the time heist make them six stars i don't know build them up give everybody dark hold like at this point i think it's ridiculous over a year for agatha she is nowhere near as good as someone like let's say uh, speaking of which, uh, Icarus, he's not really farmable either. He has a slightly higher percent chance in the premium orb, um, over Agatha. Um, I have him at five stars now. Um, this is all I've gotten on him. I, again, a free to play player, haven't spent any money on the game. That's the only money I ever spent on the game when I came back was that broken, uh, elite five sorry not elite five um what are they called gear 15 and 14 orbs they gave you like 
twenty thousand of each orb, and I'm like, you know what? This is worth my twenty bucks. I'm definitely gonna buy that because I'll never have to worry about it basically for the rest of my msf life so that to me was worth it 20 bucks to basically never have to farm orange or purple gear ever again for the remainder of this game is worth it to me um but yeah icarus is still not farmable technically either and i still have him at a five star uh again he's in the time heist so again he's probably the only good thing in the time heist they should have put agatha in the time heist they should have they should have done something with agatha by now something that's all i gotta say um mine is sitting here at 134,000. i can probably take her up to level 90 but at this point i'm not taking any characters up to level 90 until i absolutely have to i know i have to in order to get them to gear 17 but i don't even have baby apocalypse yet so right now 85 is the benchmark for me i'm not taking characters above 85 unless i know that uh i'm gonna be taking them for a long time so like Nick Fury, for example, I'm almost guaranteeing, like I even took my Agent Venom to level 90. I'm almost guaranteeing that the new raids are going to be gear 17 required. So that is why I built them to level 90. Um, again, see my Dark Beast, level 85, She-Hulk, 85, uh, Brawn, 85. They're all 85. I'm not taking them to 90. In fact, I'm not taking any character to 95 either. And I don't recommend anybody else take any characters to 95 except for maybe like one or two i'd say kang and icarus those are the only two that i think you should take to 95 right now because they are the damage dealers and they are really really op when they do their damage so you want them to be as big as possible now again what can they do to agatha if they really really don't want to make her farmable yes they could put her in the premium orb at a two percent drop rate they could make a new milestone orb and put her as the 5% drop rate for a milestone orb or something like they did with Kestrel and Deathpool. I don't know. They're not going to make her easy to farm. Uh, it's been over a year and I don't think that they're ever going to really release the farmability on her. Like as in release, I mean, put her in like a blitz store or something. They're not going to do that. They're going to make her farmable in some way, right? Like that's just the classic scopely way. This is my plea to make agatha farmable it has been over a year scopely over a year since agatha has been released almost over a year sorry it's i think coming up april 5th or 6th is when it'll be exactly year so it's coming up soon guys like where is she i've only been able to get her to four stars and as a player who's coming into the game now i seriously worry about anyone or recommend anyone building darkhold because you're not going to get Agatha. In fact, what are they doing now? They're even being stingy on the... What, what is it? They're being stingy on the anniversary calendar. Look, they gave us 25 of these newer characters that literally just got released. 25 of each, right? Agatha, they gave us 10 shards. 10 shards! Wow! What am I going to do with 10 shards, Scopely? Am I going to rank up my Agatha? I don't think so. It takes about 130 to get to rank to five star. And then what's that? 200 shards to get to six star? Woo! All right. Anyways, that's just my rant of the day. I am seriously concerned about Agatha. I don't know if I'll ever get her to max level. I don't really care at this point anymore, honestly. Just make her farmable, guys. Like, she's really not that special anymore. Like, she she's good. And she'll probably make, uh, you know what they're worried about? They're worried about the Wakanda. Uh, they're like, oh, if Darkhold can beat our overpowered Wakanda team, what? why Why would we give out Agatha? She's like the greatest member of the team. They'll make them so much better. They're just not, I don't know. They. But anyways, guys, that's all for me today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, feel free to like, feel free to subscribe and all that good stuff. I will be definitely making more videos in the future. I just wanted to do a quick rant on why Agatha needs to be farmable already. Like it's been almost a year now and I'm seriously upset about it. As you can tell, I really just had to come on and make a rant about it. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, all that good stuff and I'll see you guys later. Peace.